Hi there, it's Diani. Welcome back to another exciting video. In our last Power Apps app creation tutorial, we showed you on how to craft a canvas app in Power Apps using an Excel file. But today, we're going to take things up a notch. We're diving into a world of Copilot to whip up an app in no time. But before we dive in, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to drop a comment down below. Your support is appreciated. Let's kick things off. When you hop onto Power Platform, you might not immediately spot the new welcome page with the Copilot prompt. No worries though, it might be due to your region settings. To sort this out, let's head to the sitemap, click on Power Platform, then Power Platform Admin Center. Once you are in the Admin Center, navigate to the Environments and hit the New button. In the side panel that pops up, create a new environment. Make sure you pick a region where Copilot is available, like the United States. After naming your environment, click save to bring it to life. Oh wait a second, I accidentally selected the wrong type. Let's switch it to a developer environment type and select a non-preview option for the region. Click on next. Now choose your preferred language and currency. I'm going with ZA and toggle yes for those sample apps and data. Hit save. Just a heads up, this process will take a bit of time. So grab some popcorn or coffee while the power platform works its magic. And there you have it. As you can see from the notification, our new environment has been successfully created. Now let's hop onto the Power Platform. You might notice that our old environment is still lacking Copilot. Just click on the environment name in the top right corner and select the new environment we've just created. And there you have it. Copilot is now at your service. But what if you are in the right region and you still don't see Copilot? Well, let's troubleshoot. Head back to Power Platform Admin Center, select your environment, and open up settings. Here comes the detective work. Expand the product section and hit features. Aha, there's the co-pilot toggle. Switch it on or off to enable or disable it. Scroll down and save your changes. And that's it. Copilot is all set to go in that environment. Now with Copilot ready to roll, let's dive into making an app with its genius. I'll start by describing what I want in the text box. My vision, a hotel check-in and check-out app. Copilot AI will create an app table in Dataverse and I can fine tune the details. I'll add a new column Delete another column, watch Copilot do its magic. Next I'm going to throw in a ratings column for our guests. Look at that, Copilot made the changes effortlessly. Lastly, I'll add a last name column to the table. Mm -hmm. 
one last click create and power platform copilot is off to the races to create our app it might take a minute or two but trust me it's worth the wait once the app's created and the app studio is loaded, we can continue to harness Copilot's power to mold our app. Just remember to select the area you want to tweak before asking Copilot to lend a hand. Otherwise, you might end up with random elements that don't quite fit. All right, let's hit play and watch our new app in action. And there you have it. You've got the scoop on how to get cracking with Copilot in Power Platform. From enabling it in a fresh environment to jazzing up your existing setups, you are now a Copilot Pro. You've seen how Copilot's AI smarts can craft a power app without breaking a sweat. If you like this tutorial, give us a virtual high five, hit that like button, and hey, and if you want more of this thrilling content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and happy coding.